Hi, it's Jeff here again from VIP Vision. This video is a quick summary on how to connect a VIP Vision Compact Series Network Video Recorder to any other VIP Vision Network Video Recorder for use as a spot monitor output. Now there's a more in-depth video which goes into everything on how to do this, um, tells you how to set everything up. This video glosses over a number of things and assumes uh, a lot of things about your network and what you've got configured on the recorder already. So if you run into any issues with that, please check that other video out, we'll link it below. So the first thing we need to do is connect our, our compact series recorder to our spot monitor. So you're going to be doing that via either HDMI or VGA. Make sure it's all powered up. Make sure that you get uh, the OSD coming up from this recorder here on your spot monitor output. The next thing that we're going to need to do is connect to our main recorder. So I'm going to assume that our main recorder is already configured and showing cameras such as this one here. So I'll jump across to that now. So as you can see, we've got our six cameras here. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do is right click and select main menu. We need to log in. I can do that using my pattern password or using my standard password with the admin username. And the first thing I'm going to need to do is select network. Now, I need to set a static IP address so that the spot monitor recorder knows where to access the cameras from. So I'm going to set a static IP. On here, I've already set it to 10.1.100.250. Take note of this because we'll need to look for it on the other recorder, on our spot monitor recorder. Once that's done there, the next thing that we need to do is connect to system, we'll jump across to system and select account. In account, I'm going to create another password, username and password um, for the spot monitor to connect to. Now this is not strictly necessary, but I strongly suggest it. Once you've created the account, make sure that you disable all permissions other than the monitor permissions. So that'll stop anyone being able to log in with this account and changing settings on your, on your recorder or changing playback settings or being able to play back, I should say, on here. Um, so once that's done, we're actually finished here. So we need our, the settings that we need to remember for the spot monitor recorder are our username and password for our spot monitor and our IP address. So I'm just gonna right click out of there. So at this point, we're done with our main recorder, our recorder that we're going to be pulling the cameras from, and I'm going to jump across to our spot monitor recorder, which, like I said before, I'll assume at this stage is powered up and connected to your, your monitor via VGA or HDMI. So here we are. We're looking at our spot monitor recorder. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is select main menu. I'm going to need to log in if I'm not already logged in, but in this case I am. So I'll just jump straight into it. So the first thing we need to do is go to system and in here we're going to need to set a static IP address. Not strictly necessary but a good idea to set a static IP in here. So 10.1.100.251 is what I've set. Ensure that it's within the same range as the IP address that you've just set on the main recorder. Keep in mind that both of these IP addresses uh, need to be within a, uh, the same network range as your router if you hope to be able to access them via the internet. So the next thing we need to do after we set a static IP address is jump into camera. Now click device search. It'll show you all cameras or all devices that it currently sees on the network. This may include additional IP cameras that you've got plugged in. It may not. But what we're going to be looking for in here is the IP address that we've configured on the other recorder. So I'm just gonna click IP address until we're sorting in the right direction. Okay, and now I'm gonna look for 10.1.100.250. There it is, that's the address of my main recorder. So I'm gonna add that. I need to add this account. It may seem a bit counterintuitive to start off with, but I need to actually add it the same number of times that I have cameras that I want to copy across to this recorder. So this is a four channel recorder and I wanna pull across four separate cameras from my main recorder. So I'm gonna do that now. So I'm gonna go add and add, and add, and add. Now you'll notice, you can probably see behind here that we've got some error messages popping up. That's no big deal. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is I'll click modify. Now here we need to set our username and password that we set earlier on the main recorder for our spot monitor output. So my username was spot, password, and connect. Now it'll show up the number of channels that this recorder is that I'm, I'm connecting to. So it's an eight channel recorder. Now, what you do need to decide on is the order in which you wanna show the cameras, which cameras you wanna show and the order in which you need to sh wanna show them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select camera two, then camera three, 
then camera four, and then camera five in order. So that's the order I'm gonna add them in. So I'll just flip back now. So my four channels that I'm gonna select. So channel one is, we're gonna select camera two, weren't we? So channel two. So now we're gonna select channel two and I click okay. You'll see it in the background here, we've got channel two up. So next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. I'm gonna repeat this the same number of times that I wanna add cameras. So in this case, I'm gonna add, do this four times. So here we go. Connect, select the camera, so three in this case, and three is gonna take up position number two on this recorder. So click OK. You'll see that'll pop up in the background there. Great, so that's working too. We've got two green dots, that's really good. So we need to do that again. Spot. Connect. If for some reason it doesn't connect, then you need to check your username and password, but in this case it's connected correctly. Um, channel number eight. Okay, so this time we're going to select channel four and channel four is gonna take up position number three. Click OK, great. Okay, and one last time. So admin, we change to spot. Password. Connect. two, three, four, and five. And that's gonna take channel four, position four on this spot recorder. And there you go, all green lights, far right click to exit that. We have our four channels that we selected before up on our spot monitor. And if I flip back to our main unit here, we can see that I have two, three, four, and five on here, which match one, two, three, and four. Whoops, back across, one, two, three, and four. And there you go. So that's just in summary, we've, we've connected an MBR four channel and the four channel network video recorder as a spot monitor. Um, hopefully that's been helpful. If you've got any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Uh, please like this video if it's been useful to you and subscribe if you'd like to see videos like this in the future. Thank you.